there's a special world event in one's human called Cargo Scramble. This is unlike any of the other world events, as even if you're in a PvE server, it turns the area into PvP. Let me explain how this works and why you want to do it. To easily see where this event is taking place, click on Cargo Scramble in the lower left part of your map. This will center your map to where Cargo Scramble is currently located. In the first part of this event, you will have to chase down a moving truck. It is best to have a vehicle out so you can keep up with it. As you get close, the marker will appear and show you how far away you are. What you need to do now is get off and damage the truck enough so that it will stop. Depending on the level of where this spawned is how difficult the truck is to stop and how much health it has. Now that the truck is stopped, the second phase will soon begin. A polar jelly will spawn above the truck and a bunch of barriers will randomly spawn in the PvP circle. The polar jelly will randomly select one person. That person will have the polar jelly on its head and during the time of wearing it will collect the sproutlets over time. Since I was the only one that showed up for this event, the ice jelly chose me automatically. There are two ways for you to lose the ice jelly on top of your head. The first is the fact that they turned it into a PvP zone, and so anyone who wants to participate can come in and take it from you. The second way is when the time bar on top of your screen fully depletes, the polar jelly will select another random person to attach to. While the jelly is attached to someone's head, the sproutlet storage decreases. This event will keep repeating itself until that percentage is zero. At that time, the event will be over. Wearing the polar jelly is also giving you a chance to attain the deviant for yourself. Once the storage is empty, all that's left to do is to go up and claim the rest of the prizes that you have earned for participating in the event. If you come to Myers Market and find Nisa, then you can exchange the sproutlets that you have picked up for modifications, consumables, and a rare motorcycle skin, at least currently. If you have found any of this information useful, then please like and subscribe. I'm still on my journey to 1,000 subscribers. Adventurers, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.